school, Highlands Ranch. The best school in the whole world. I wanted to thank everybody for letting me read one of my favorite books to you for Love for Reading Week. This is a book that I have read for many, many years. And it's definitely one of my favorite books. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. One of the reasons why I love this book is because I'm always hungry. In fact, maybe after I read the book to you, I can have a snack. Does that sound okay with everybody? Okay, let's start the book. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Oh, do you see the egg? That little white dot? It's so tiny. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Oh, look at him. He's ready to find some food. He's still so small, isn't he? And that's exactly what he started to do. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. I would still be hungry too. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Pears taste so good, don't they? On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Now, I love oranges, but I've never had five in one day. He must be really, really hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Wow, that's a lot of food for one caterpillar. I think my favorite food of all of those is chocolate cake. Do any of you love chocolate cake as much as I do? But that night, he had a stomach ache. I can see why he had a stomach ache. He ate way too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Wow, look at the holes in the leaf. That's really neat. So now he feels better after eating a leaf. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Wow, look at him. Look at all of that food he ate. And he went from being a tiny little caterpillar to a really big caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, wow, look at all of the colors on him. He went from being a tiny little egg to a small caterpillar, and then he started to eat all of that food, all of that fruit and chocolate cake and everything else, and then he didn't feel good, and then he had that big green leaf, and after he came out of the cocoon, look at what he became. That's how butterflies become butterflies. They go from caterpillar to the cocoon, and then they become a beautiful, colorful, winged creature that flies way up into the sky. Okay, that was The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. What did you think of that book? Did you like that book? Now, I think somebody said that I could have a snack because I'm also very hungry. Does anyone in this room have any food for me? Hello? Hello? Oh! Yes! I love those! Please, give me a lot! Oh, I love Teddy Grahams! Oh, yummy! That snack was delicious! And now, I want to give all of you some fun facts about butterflies. Did you know that butterflies have taste receptors on their feet? That's right! They can eat with their feet! I can't eat with my feet because I don't have any, but that's okay. I'd rather eat with my mouth. Also, here's another fact about butterflies. They get essential nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. Ew, gross! I didn't know butterflies like to go in the mud. Here's something else you probably didn't know about butterflies. They see a range of ultraviolet colors invisible to the human eye. So not only are butterflies very colorful on their wings, but they also see special colors that you and 
that I don't get to see. Aren't butterflies so neat? And here's another fact about butterflies. They are unable to fly at temperatures below 55 degrees. So that's why living in Colorado, when it gets cold outside during the winter, we don't see any butterflies outside, do we? No, that's because they like the warm weather. So it's during the springtime is when we see the butterflies come out. And they come out of their cocoons 